Hello everyone, we are back to Panzer Corps 2. We just recently completed uh, Axis operations. It was historic route, and now we will we will play alternative and non-historic route. Generalissimus. Um, yeah, can I just set up this? But yeah, I'm, I'm not using it if if it's not. Uh, Necessary, yeah, definitely. Mm. Nothing else, I think yeah, this is it. Nothing else. Generalissimus, I don't change anything over here. This operation is 1944. Okay. Press play. I think our last... Last play was um, non-historic. I think this was historic and it, this was non-historic. So we are going to import this one. Going now alternate history, okay. So basically over here we won at Kursk and now we are going to Caucasus, yeah. Okay, let's launch this. Uh, okay, what was our setup? Um, hmm. Slow modernization. <clears throat> Surface of war, deadly grasp, perimeter control. I think this is all. This is all, yeah. This is how we played uh, most of our. I mean, in Spain we played uh, yeah, with different, different setup. But uh, this um, other grand other grand campaign that we played the Germans, most of the time. I think from 1941 we played with this setup. Okay. I think yeah, this is it. Let's uh, let's start. Let's read the briefing first, and then we will. Make a plan,
Okay, <clears throat> so it's the 8th in January 1944, case orange. Uh, we can deploy over here huh? in Astara. But we have been warned that they have a very strong force and that we need airfield. They are probably. Probably um, to. I don't know. Yeah. Where are our supply lines are? So yeah, probably if we don't capture this uh, airfield, we can easily be cut off. Considering that these are here high mountains and there no supply is going through this mountain. So definitely we need to, we need to clear this airfield. Yeah. I think this, this is our composition that we had in the last mission when we were fighting again in Stalingrad. Yeah? This is our force. This artillery and this is excellent artillery with, uh, with overrun, yeah, this time. And we also have this guy with, I think, with overrun, yeah. Both very, very deadly units. But here, definitely, there is no supply, yeah. We need to take this from, from British, and we will do it. Over here, what do we have? Oh, some very weak force. What's the experience of the Allies? One star. See their air force. We have a lot of planes, yeah. British and what about Soviets? They are a little bit better, yeah. Two and a half stars. Okay, we have 18 turns. We have 18 turns. What units now we have on disposal? Anything new? Ostropen. Compare them with uh, a cheap version of infantry, but also much worse. Hunter A. Stack four. It's good, but uh, I really like this stack, especially because of these uh, three slots. I mean, and then the difference between this and this stack. I mean, if you see, it, it's it's really minor. And this one requires one one slot more, which is actually quite a lot. And this uh, stack is interesting because I think it can switch to, to artillery, yeah, but still uh, this additional core slot, uh, I don't like it. So this is this is the reason why I'm still using these stacks. See uh, what uh, air force we have. I think in this one, uh, yeah, in this one, this is uh, alternate alternate history. So I used Messerschmitt. Yeah, this one. Oh, it's Hartmann is flying in Messerschmitt. Yeah, with hit and run. Such a huge initiative. Yeah, Holland and and Heinrich Kim. Galand also has an excellent initiative, but in this plane it's not so great. In this plane, yeah. Maybe Galand should change his plane. Here we have Rudel. Mm, and another Messerschmitt 410. We have two strategic bombers. That's a lot. I've, I think we should expect uh, good weather over here in this theater. So let's keep these two bombers. Yeah, we have only 
only three fighters, which can be a problem if it's yeah, if you consider how many enemy planes are in the air, but yeah, one hundred fifty out of one hundred and sixty. Yeah? Four artilleries. What our heroes? Okay. Little attack. This is deadly unit. I mean, OP unit totally. Little attacking with this hero overrun. And this unit, yeah, overrun and hit and run. Maybe thinking uh, to replace these two looks with, uh, with our uh, SDKFC. I think. Yeah, they require the same, same core slots. The difference between them. This terrain is, I think it's okay. How many? We have six tanks. What about this tank? First strike. Tank killer. Vigilant. I think in reserve we have uh, yeah, this one tank. Huh? Now we're going to activate this tank. Good. Vigilant no retaliation development. This tank is dangerous. Also this tiger, huh? reduce slots. Development overwhelming attack. Maybe thinking to replace this tank with Panther. Huh? Uh, we are going to upgrade this Verdeha, yeah, to Panther, I think. Um, let's first upgrade to Panther A. I think ideal for Panther is somewhere around uh, this, okay, 13, yeah. Thirteen, and we will give these heroes, it was... Um, <clears throat> Reduce slots. Um, development. Overwhelming attack. Yeah. Okay, so now this tank requires only only five. to Pantare, okay, we will upgrade this one as well. <clears throat> Let's check out our infantry. All the deer in this one. Here we have much more infantry than in our history campaign, and I like it that we have more infantry. <clears throat> okay. What do we have here in reserve? We have this tiger. Huh? And this punter, how good is he? I think this maybe this punter is maybe even better. I think it is, yeah. Really worried about Kaland a bit. Bitfire has the same initiative as Gallant. Spitfire even has a <clears throat> better initiative than Gallant. I mean, Gallant uh, 
it's giving a plus two initiative okay but the problem is that this plane henkel 219 has a very low initiative that's that's the problem of the plane but i like it i like it because of the <clears throat> very high uh, air attack and uh, again a very small requirement for the slots only three yeah basically the same level like 109 if you compare it with 109 it has a lower initiative but much much higher uh, higher air attack value but in gallant case i think it would be better if gallant would be flying 109 I think this would be better. Uh, we can do one upgrade, yeah? Wait, I think we have also probably some planes in the reserve. We must have. Okay, Wolf over here. <clears throat> one on nine, geez, okay. We have uh, three, yeah? Oh, this one is five star. <clears throat> This is the five points, okay, and we will uh, uh, we will assign Gallant to this one or nine, yeah. Mm, and what was the first fighter? Okay, <clears throat> this one is going to reserve, okay. Mm -hmm. four flux which is a lot and it's good okay let's keep more flux uh, we'll cover our planes our bombers okay we'll, we will uh, in the beginning we will uh, stay defensively with our uh, bombers until we mm, accomplish uh, air superiority this tank will stay as panther t you have 10 more points what can we get for 10 more points? <clears throat> Let's bring these two. Second, uh, where is Gallant? Give him a uh, grass encounter attack. Yeah? This will help him if he gets uh, attacked by, uh, by enemy fighters. Yeah? Uh, okay, ignore zone of control. We'll give also this one. This is useful for recons. I mean, also six cents is not bad for recon, but usually I don't go into Pogo four areas. Yeah, you no, no surrender can increase uh, their survivability. Yeah. <clears throat> ah. First fighter. Okay, let's use that. <clears throat> we have five tanks. Do we need one more anti tank? Um, over here, what we are going to deploy, I mean, this is a um, elite objective, which means it's going to be very, very difficult, this objective. Usually these elite objectives are extremely difficult. So what we are going to do, deploy over here, probably we could deploy this tank. This area, okay, we are going to be attacked. So. Set up a defense with our infantry over here. I mean, ideally, I would, I would yeah. we need to set up infantry over here so that uh, we can uh, mm, we can uh, meet enemy tanks in the, in the close range, but. I want to place artillery on, on the river hexes behind, so... So 
So overall, this is not a good defensive position. At least not for infantry. Not for infantry, definitely. I mean, huh. there are our airfields. Okay, at least over here we have an airfield. This town will be a little bit larger than this would be perfect, but like this, yeah, I don't know. Well, over here there is a lot of uh, close terrain, so. Here we are going to, to deploy at least uh, at least two infantry, maybe even three. Mm. We need to hold both Tabri's victory hexes at the end of the scenario. We need to capture or alternate all the victory hexes. This means this one over here, this one over here. <coughs> Okay. We have 10 more points, okay, we'll decide about this. Uh, let me check it out the artillery, see what they have. So this one is counter battery. <clears throat> With Elsa. Plus one artillery. Fast deployment. Two fast deployments. <clears throat> Too fast deployment, so anything good for artillery, maybe exterminator. All other, uh, check, do we have any heroes in reserve, maybe? Mm. I can't see any. So, okay, let's assume that there are no heroes in reserve. Exterminator, okay. What heroes we have with this one? Fast learner. Fast learner. What about these heroes with um, famous legendary? Ah, I think they are deployed with uh, <clears throat> our recomplaints, yeah. Okay. We will keep these recomplaints in the area. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm only worried about these only three fighters. Focke Wolf. This is one Focke Wolf. <clears throat> Ten core slots and um, ten to fifteen. But this can give him some edge in the start. The four star. Huh? Or start okay, a fearsome reputation at the beginning of their turn. I don't know mm, how much this is useful for a plane. A lot of these six cents, six cents here or some. That's from mistake. Ha! Huh. Let's give him, but I mean, not that we need experience for this. I mean, he already has four stars. Okay, mm, let's now let's start deploying. Okay, so we said that we will deploy uh, this tank over here, right? Deploy our infantry. Infantry. One mm. anti tank window, definitely we need to deploy. We also need to 
Uh, one good punter, okay. These are two excellent punters. At least two artilleries, yeah. And this one with shock tactics, and I don't know, is one flock enough? <clears throat> we can use this big flock, and then we are going to cover the whole area, yeah. I don't know, is this too small? On to be honest, maybe not. And we don't have any recon over here. This is not good. We don't have any recon. We must have anti air unit. Should we go without anti tank? It's risky. We need, we must have a recon, yeah? We'll see what is going to happen. <clears throat> I'm also deploy over here. Huh? But that's very risky, I'm not going to deploy anything over here. There's, there, are, uh, there is there a road over here? No, there is no any road. I mean, we can't help these guys, we can only send them planes. I don't know what we can do. Mm. The big airfield over here, if we would capture this airfield, then we would be able to transfer at least our strategic bombers over there. Okay, hmm. I, would, I would deploy all, all our force. Hmm. So maybe not. Is this a close terrain? Yes, it is. We will deploy one infantry over here. We will use a flock. And there will be one artillery over here. Okay. So not over here. This is some. Swamp terrain, yeah. This is as well swamp terrain, is it? Oh, this is really okay. And this is hill, okay, good. Um, and they can cross also over here. This is the problematic. They will overrun this group, and then they will try to cross from from this side. <clears throat> huh. Gosh. Okay, we are changing plan definitely. Mm. Deploy our best infantry over here so when they cross they will be attacked by this infantry, okay. One artillery. One flak. They will have also one tank to help this one, okay. So this small force will defend this area. Mm. Your main force is going to be over here. Okay. We will use also one recon on that side. Okay, <clears throat> Air Force. So the question is, are we going to try to sneak immediately one bomber over here? Uh, we can give it a try. What's the range of this one? 16. Okay. You need to send a fighter along. I mean, they have here airfields. Probably we, we have to. Okay, let's send the. Uh, um, send, let's say, Gallant. Together with, um, with 1410, if we can, yeah. Boundary complaint. 
the rest will be over here. So the thing is, are we going to... I mean, they will launch... Uh, this is the reinforcement area. And this is the reinforcement area. Yeah, the heavy attack is coming onto us, so... I think first now we must defend. Maybe also I could have deployed on this airfield because we will deploy our troops and we will defend this airfield as well. Was a rare field that's better, yeah. Okay, I think this is it. How much time did we spend? Thirty two minutes, I mean. Of things to have to set up and to decide. Playing this for first time, yeah. This is also not making the, it. This is not making it easier. These guys, they will cross, yeah, immediately over here. But yeah, they will be overrun for sure. These guys, they will also cross. Okay, I think this is it. Yes, okay. Mm, all right. Okay, yeah, this is why we need a recon. Interesting that this tank can't. Um, they must have an yeah, excellent initiative. Why? What's the problem? Right. Okay, definitely we need to strike them quickly. Yeah. Okay, now let's see what can we transfer. Can Gallant? Yes, he can fly. Okay, the next plane will be over here. So we will now move strategic bomber over there. Are they going to return fire or not? I'm not so sure about it. I think they will not, yeah. Okay, but now we also can expect that some attack will come from south, huh? Let's move artillery. One infantry over here, one infantry here. I want to flock to put it on the hill, yeah. Over here. One is also coming. Okay, this is the first part is nicely done. Let's also now rebase. We complain and our fighter bomber, yeah. Have now we will have now some air support plus uh, we have I think good protection from this flock yeah over here mm. all right let's run away with this group Okay. Mm. No, 
now we must keep this elephant, yeah. Mm. It's very important. Over here, let's set up a defense. Mm. This is fine. Um, are we going to take their planes? I think this is not a good, uh, good idea. We need to wait for them. Yeah. Mm. Let's now first set up a defensive position. They will come on over this road. Yeah. do this. I think it's the best thing is to place uh, this infantry over here mm. to protect the flank. Yeah? I'm going to position our troops over here. Mm. Who's going to hold this? Okay, mm, let's say this tank. Protected by this anti tank, we have this artillery. Mm, okay, now we need to move a flock over here. Protect all our units. This artillery. Move recon over here. Flock. Mm, okay, I think this is fine for now. Now what we are going to do with our planes, I'm just going to pull back a uh, bomber over here, yeah. Mm. This includes also recon plane. And this plane. Mm. Fighters now. Okay, I think this is uh, fine for the turn number one, yeah? Uh, wait, 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 we have also these guys. Mm. These guys, they could have it, they can't run away. Can't run away. Mm. They're too slow. This, this, these units are without any experience. I don't see any point in, in treating them, to be honest. This, this, these guys are too close. But I would love that uh, this is over and quickly, so they, they move uh, quickly on to the next objective. Mm, okay, let's, uh, let them retreat. I'll take this and then we'll see, okay. Mm. I think we didn't forget anything. Okay, send this first turn.
Nein. And I can. <clears throat> okay, let's see now over here. This area. What is defending this? Fly without a. I mean, we have a range of force. Hmm. I think it's coming up. Mm. Okay, there is something. One very, very strong artillery. We can attack with our. Uh, yeah, we can attack. We don't know what is over here. They have extremely so oh, I didn't notice, okay, they have extremely strong uh, infantry and uh, very strong anti-tank. Look at this tank, Churchill. Mm. Five stars. Okay, fine. Mm. Yeah, I knew that, you know, and this is the lead objective that over here there are going to be some insane units. Mm. And this has a range of yeah, enough. Okay, hmm. I don't see any 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 danger near the airfield, so we can move this tank. Mm, the thing is now that We could commit our air force, but I am worried what if there is some flock of strength 30 over here or something like that. What can we see with the recon? I think nothing. I should have moved uh, this uh, plane one, one more hex. Uh. Move now or we will wait one turn. This infantry probably it, it can decimate my infantry, so we, we can't come close to this infantry. Uh, <clears throat> we need to kill this infantry from distance. Come over here, we are dead. And we need to stay away from the range of this artillery. How much they can see? They can see three. So, yeah, so basically, yeah, this is the. Can't cross this line. <clears throat> yeah, we will need maybe over here artillery of uh, longer range. Yeah. <clears throat> One, two, three. Um. I think what is probably safe, okay, I mean, I can't be sure, but let's take this infantry, okay. The flock is over here, I mean, with the range of 1, 2, 3, I mean, it, it can't reach us, okay. So at least this. Hmm. Oh. Okay. And, yeah, we can't do anything. Can't move closer. But I would like definitely to bring this tank closer somehow. Um, now with with this infantry out of picture, actually we can move one artillery over here. There is nobody who can reach uh, this hex and attack our artillery, and nobody can can come over here. <clears throat> Something like this, yeah, we can't, uh, we can't move forward, yeah, not possible. <clears throat> huh. We 
And this is uh, kind of risky. Eh? Send 410 alone. I mean, it can decimate this Kitty Hope, but then Spitfire will come. And then this will not end nicely for our 410. <clears throat> can retreat artillery and flak can actually go with uh, with artillery i don't know is it going to survive if, the, if this infantry comes over here they will kill this artillery is there any value if we move uh, infantry over here and save the artillery okay, let's do it okay This tank, I mean, it, it can't be saved. Okay, <clears throat> all right. Now, now we are going to attack. Place anti tank to protect our artillery, and uh, this tank will protect. Yeah, right, luck. Okay, we also have this flak. Huh? to keep this airfield uh, in our hands but at the moment I don't see any any danger so let's move forward we're only going to keep uh, this infantry just in case in Tabriz now enemy planes what planes we can attack <clears throat> let's throw it here two planes but where are the rest don't see any <clears throat> We know over here they also have flak here, we saw that. We saw that. Mm. Ha. Okay. Mm. Spitfire, right? We have over here Messerschmitt. Mm. Anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, I, I can be playing for um, almost an hour, 53 minutes. After this turn, yeah, we are going to save and uh, 
continue in the part number two. Yeah? Okay, yeah, this would be all for the this first part. Yeah, it's going to be cloudy next time. And we need to decide now. Um, shall we keep this group together and uh, destroy British completely over here, or will we split in two? Splitting in two is a bit risky. Definitely a bit risky. Maybe splitting in two and keeping this artillery together with this punter and uh, use anti tank with this group and um, deal with Soviets. I think, I mean, we have 18 turns, this is not much. We want to destroy all of the enemies, I think we need to be very, very quick. Especially over here, there's a lot of terrain to cover. So, yeah, I would go for, yeah, split. <clears throat> split in two groups, yeah. artillery with this panther yeah and give them this anti-tank <clears throat> they're pretty much fine this anti-tank can kill a lot of units plus with this tiger yeah hmm. okay and we also of course we have planes okay but this is going to be in the, in the part number two yeah thank you very much for watching and see ya bye bye